Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gurukul Online Learning Networks, Sitar Gurukul. This is Nishit Dev with you as always. On the last episode, we have learned uh, how to play variations using that polarism, riding that polarism on the last 12 beats of Tintal, which means we were left with 4 beats only to complete the 16 beats. Today, in this episode, we are going to learn how to play uh, on the entire 16 beat using the uh, uh, using the polarism that a uh, theme that we are you uh, currently playing on before i continue i i would like you to know that the things that we are doing over here ex uh, uh, the polarism over uh, in the polarism they are extremely basic and the reason why i'm teaching you something as basic as this is because you need to learn how to get inside uh, this polarism theme and once you've done that and once you truly started to playing it that will help you to understand further or further on what really is happening and then when, when you start learning from a proper guru uh, face to face or when you learn uh, great maestros using the same polarism techniques you're going to gain further inspiration and because you're going to understand it better so later on you're going to develop and make this thing uh, truly a gem right now we are just starting and finishing it uh, in the most basic of ways using the most basic uh, melodic lines just for the ease of learning so without further ado i'm going to turn on the tabla again at 120 bpm eventually we're going to try to play it faster i would suggest that we play every we should be able to play the entire composition at at least 160 i'm going to have a demonstration of all that we have learned and hopefully come up with a around 7 to 10 minute of a performance uh, so before that let's finish this today so 120 bpm so first i'm going to give you a recap of the last variation that we learned on the last episode especially because we are going to add to that to entire this uh, to finish this entire thing then show you how to add these up and then show you how I did them. Okay, starting from I'll play it one more time starting from the first beat since we have to play on 16 now I'm going to add it with the last variation that we learned on the last episode. for a while now let us discuss what we have learned what I just played so we are going to separate it in parts divide it up in parts and practice them separately that way you have a better chance of go going at it more flawlessly much more easier so first part dhani so you've already learned the three by three sequence which I, if I start from dha it was supposed to be so going to be similar as well so what we are going to do is the finger the, uh, it's nothing that you haven't learned already 
but since there are a couple of different fingering methods over here involved that you've already learned i'm just going to clear up the confusion so firstly we start from the index finger on dha and then dha ni dha ni re ni so it's one two one two three two one two one two three two that's the formula so instead of the sa we're going re because in yaman we usually do ni re but in some cases you also can do ni sa re but that depends on the speed but i've also included included uh, something like that in this specific tan uh, coming to that later so dhani dhani re ni and then ni re ni re ga re sorry dhani dhani re ni re ga and then it keeps going on dhani dhani re ni re ga re ma ga ma ga so so you come still here dhani dhani re ni re ga re ga ma ga ma da ma da ni da dani sa re ga ga re sa because since we are going at it with uh, some good speed so in cases like this you can bend the rules to uh, for the sake of uh, uh, being melodious you can sometimes break the rules that's either going to tease the audience or add to the feeling of the yaman uh, but the slower you go the more time you have to spend in each note which is why uh you, there is a risk of you going out of yaman but in certain speeds it's kind of okay but you are going to more learn more on this later for now this is fine so so second part dani sa re ga ga re sa ni re sa ni sa ni da pa dani sa re ga ga re sa ni re sa ni sa ni da pa one more time and then ma pa da ni sa ni da pa pa ma ga re sa and then you're going to play the tehai so one more time slowly dhani dhani re ni re ga re ga ma ga ma dha ma dha ni dha dhani sa re ga ga re sa so over here i'm using the same gamak exercise that you've already learned instead of this i'm playing and then you play ma pa da ni sa ni da pa ba ma ga re ma pa da ni sa ni da pa pa ma ga re so here's a little bit of a trick your mind is going to uh, try to play tricks on you since you've already learned sa ni da pa ma ga re so that's more natural for you so so uh, you've probably jotted down all of the notes i'm going to play it one last time for you a little bit faster so let's play it along with the tabla this time so remember you're starting uh, since we've unlocked everything now you're starting from the sum or the first beat key. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So that 
the sum comes right after and I've designed that so you have enough space to start the tehai. Now the tehai is going to be starting from sum again so you have one, uh, one beat gap so you can come to the tehai. It's the same three by three, ni rega, rega ma, ga ma da, if you had to play, but you play it backwards. So, sa ni da, ni da, pa da, pa ma, pa ma, ga ma, ga, de ga, de sa. If you remember that exercise, this is just a part of this. So, I play pa ma, ga ma, ga, de ga, de sa, ni de ga, and then I have space for one chikari. So, it's the same, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. When you play the one, and if you keep the two, three on your mind and not play it, it's the same Tehai concept that I've been teaching you all throughout this polar rhythm. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm going to keep playing this a couple of times so you understand exactly where I'm placing the Tehai. starting so since you've written all of that down I'm hoping now let me give you one last demonstration on how you pick this up from the uh, last variation that we were starting from 4 4 as in the beat count 4 common mistake that happens all the time is since you've been riding the 1.5 times for so long you may have difficulties in starting the composition so that's something you, that you have to work on but as you can see the lessons are getting more interesting on the next few episodes I'm going to teach you a few portions of Jhala and a Drut composition so you can end this uh, uh, this seven to eight minute performance so to see you till then see you on the next time till then practice hard Take care and bye-bye.